Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to each and every one when it come. Two sentence men have been charged with murder. A man scheduled to stand trial in St. Elizabeth. Double murder in St. Catherine. Decomposed body found in Montego Bay St. James. My viewers and subscribers, please like and share and also click the notification bell and subscribe to the channel. Give the channel a chance to grow. Two sentence men have been charged with murder. Conspiracy to commit murder and robbery with violence stemming from an incident in Orange Hill, Brownstown, St. Anne's in the parish on Sunday, December 4. Charge is 27 years old. Sean Rattray, otherwise called Sean, and 35 years old, answered Witta, both laborer of Orange Hill District. Reports are that both men confessed during a caution statement to robbing Amanda an undetermined sum of money and stabbed him multiple times before setting his house on blaze. The body was burned behind recognition, was found following a cooling down operation. The police are waiting for evidence to confirm the identity of the deceased. Intense investigation by detective in St. Anne's led to speedy arrest of Rattray and Witter, who give caution statement. They were consequently charged and awaiting their appearance in court. The Hanover police are currently awaiting of a post-mortem done to determine what caused the death of one of the parish most wanted man who was in their custody, 53 years old, Eric Legacy Clark, was reportedly injured during an altercation with fellow inmate last week, Thursday. He was in the hospital up to Wednesday of this week. They are unconfirmed report that he was found unresponsive in his hospital bed. They are waiting a postmortem to determine the cause of his death. He was treated in the hospital and then he died while in the hospital. So they don't know if he died of his injury or otherwise. So they just have to wait until the postmortem have done to determine the cause of death. Head of the Jamaica Constable Force Cooperative Communication Unit, Senior Superintendent Stephanie Lindsay reported before he apprehended last week Tuesday, Clark have been on the run for eight years. He was placed on the parish most wanted list following a murder committed in the rural community of Cash Hill or Patty Hill. In the parish 2014, the e-report used a machete to inflict several wounds to the victim body. A man scheduled to stand trial in the St. Elizabeth Circuit Court on March 6 next year related to the death of his cousin during a dispute over Aki nine years ago. Dave Simit, a 47 years old resident, of La Calva, St. Elizabeth, had his bail extended by High Court Judge Justice Von Simit. When he appeared in the circuit court on Tuesday, the accused is charged with murder of his cousin, Peter James. Reports are that on November 18, 2013, Simit was picking Aki when James accused him of picking the fruits without permission. The two relatives subsequently got engaged in a fight during which a knife was used alleged to stab James. The wounded man was later pronounced dead at hospital. Simit was arrested and charged with murder. Police have identified the two people killed in a double murder in Commodore District, Linstead St. Catherine on Thursday morning. They are Leon English otherwise called Furry, a 41 years old Igla from Commodore and his girlfriend Shalika Silke, 23 years old from Orangefield District, also in Linstead, a 33 years old taxi driver, was injured in the incident. Police reported that around 1.45 a.m. English reported charged the taxi man to take him home. When he meet his girlfriend upon arrival, they were reportedly ambushed 
by Armand, who opened, reportedly opened it fire at them and it in English. In his face and upper body, Salki was shot in her left arm and upper body. The angel taxi driver managed to escape. Police who went to the scene found the couple's body. Salki was seen lying on her face. They were taken to hospital where they pronounced dead. No motive as yet established for the killing. Five months after a police constable was involved in a motor vehicle crash in Black River St. Elizabeth, while was on his way to a probation exam, he has died. He is O'Shane Higgins, who was assigned to the St. Elizabeth Division. He died on Tuesday. Higgins was one of two cops involved in a single vehicle crash on July 14 on Central Road in Black River. At the time, it was reported that one of the police officers received minor injury while the other was in a critical condition. They were both taken to the hospital. The Jamaica Police Federation, in a death announcement on Wednesday, said Higgins has been hospitalized up to the time of his passing. The other police officers were treated and released. Pointed out that is another sad day for the Jamaica Consular Force. The Police Federation said it mourned with his friends and the staff and families of Higgins. The police have identified the partially decomposed body. A man who was found floating in the water at Harmony Beach Park in St. James on Tuesday. He is Carlos Matthew, an employee of the organization. According to reports, police source said Matthew was last seen alive on Sunday. His body was found on Tuesday about 2.25 p.m. Marine officers and divers assigned to the Jamaican Consulary Force we were calling the facility to recover the body. Lawman said that Matthew death is subsequently drowned as no evidence of foul play. A St. James store operator has been slapped with firearm charge after an illegal weapon was found in a baby crib. 27 years old, Rashawn Tavares, otherwise called as Rasta of Granville, in the parish was detained last week. Following the seizure of a handgun with a magazine containing 10 rounds at home in the community, Sawyers has been charged illegal position of firearm, unauthorized person of ammunition. It was reported that around 10.38 p.m., a giant police military team on patrol when a also search on the weapon found in the clothing of a baby crib. He was taken into custody. With the seizure of the firearm, further investigation, he was subsequently charged. My viewers and subscribers, thank you for watching. Please like and share and also click the notification bell and subscribe to the channel. Give the channel a chance to grow. See you another time. I'm out.